Hi, my name is Lindsay Rohde and you're watching the Cinderblock Sessions. loves to blame it was the song that I auditioned for Berkeley with and it's gone through multiple different phases I've recorded it I think three different times it's just one of my favorite songs to play it's kind of old <laughs> and usually musicians don't like playing old songs but this is just one song that it just resonates so deeply that I never get tired of playing it it was inspired by relationships that I have looked on um, falling out of love after long relationships, long marriages, and the people who are grandparents and who they end up getting divorced. And it just, I wrote it at 18, and I was in a season where I just didn't understand how that was possible. Like, if you're in love, how do you stay in love for 50 years and then fall out of love? It kind of puts love as an object and saying that any sort of heartbreak, it's no one's fault, like we can't control how we can't hold on to love or we can't let it go, it just kind of moves. I classify my music as like folk pop. My voice is usually confusing to people. During my um, private lessons at, at Berkeley, my teachers would ask me what country I was from. <laughs> So my voice has more of a folky vibe, but all of my writing, just because I grew up listening to pop music and mainstream music, has always been influenced by pop writing. So, yeah, I just call it folk pop, really. I guess growing up, my process was strictly emotional. I would write off of like how I was feeling. If I was upset, then I would write a sad song. If I was happy, I'd write a happy song. So 
It's really when I'm feeling inspired. Sometimes I'll sit down and I know what I want to write a song about, so I'll just brainstorm different details about that one topic. And then sometimes it is just emotional and it's kind of just like an outlet to, for me to like get my feelings into different form. Growing up, I always felt connections to songs I would hear on the radio or songs I would come across that I felt like helped me release an emotion that I was hanging on to. It's just hard sometimes as human beings not being able to find the right words that you're looking for. And so coming across a song that's like, wait, this is exactly how I'm feeling and listening to the song allows for this like release of emotion. It's like this relief to that there are words for how you're feeling. It's called Wait, and it was kind of inspired from the feelings of people who have been in, I know a lot of women that are in relationships and they're ready for marriage or they're ready for the next step in a relationship. And the guy or the girl or whoever isn't ready for it just says like, if you just wait until I'm ready, that's um, all I need from you. Driving through a city of lights A long day has turned into night And your voice is still on my mind I see you in all that I do I want to be alone with you Trust in me, I promise I'll follow through Show me how to Jump in. 